afternoon, Council Chair and Council Members. Hello. My name is Susan Tai Kaneko, and I support the Mayor's veto. I usually provide testimony to say we need to work together and find solutions together, and my opinion hasn't changed. But something else has been tugging at my heart, and since Monday, my heart has said to go with a testimony that's led by my faith and not only by my mind. My message is that we need to step back and sift through all the theatrics and the dramatics and truly look at what we are doing. Are we performing the role that the big man upstairs has intended us to have? Will we put aside ego, political aspirations, and financial aspirations and serve as good stewards of the responsibilities and the privileges that God has given us? But I'll tell you this, and I hope my pastor is listening, I am convicted because I raised my voice this morning at people who made what sounded like anti-Semitic <coughs> comments to one of our industry's Jewish employees this morning in that silly melee over the lineup outside. And I'm convicted because I raised my voice because people were pointing fingers at Auntie Stephanie Iona's face, yelling about how our folks could not save seats and relinquish them, not add people to the line but relinquish them to some of our cohorts. I shouldn't have raised my voice, even though earlier the day before, Mr. Hooser came out to harass some of our guys and tell them they couldn't line up and save seats. And even though later that morning, Mr. Hooser drove in with, I believe it was Paul Ashitov, who was greeted by the bill supporters and whisked right into the first 10 people in line. And apparently what's good for the goose is not good for the gander. But see, I'm convicted again because that's not for me to judge, but still I get upset by those things. And it's offensive to see how people have begun to behave just like myself because of this bill. You have an illegal bill before you that your own attorney advises you against, and you have an alternate program that was just announced by the governor's office to help address the concerns of the community. You see, the work can be done, but not by a legally flawed bill. Your job is as a public servant and to serve the public, and yes, it is your job, but when all said and done, and at the end of the day, and this is where, this is the kind of testimony I don't usually provide, but the question is, will you ultimately have remembered who you serve? At the end of your days, will you be confident that you will hear him say, as people mock me here because of my faith, well done, my good and faithful servant. So please, I ask you to, I respectfully ask you to support the mayor who did what he felt was right please sustain his veto. It's not about being heroes or rock stars or being the center of the universe where everyone's watching. It's really about finding the right solutions and finding legal solutions. And I really do ask you again, as I have in my previous testimony, let's please all work together to find the right solutions. Thank you. Yes, hold on a second. Mr. Hoosier wants to speak to you. Yeah, I've been trying to keep my questions limited, but since you raised my name, I feel compelled to, uh, and it has nothing to do with your faith uh, whatsoever. I have great respect for your faith and the faith of everyone here in the room. I forgot which company you work for, Susan? I work for Syngenta, proudly. And your role at Syngenta? I'm their community outreach manager. Okay, so you do community outreach for Syngenta, and yes, you've been sir. there for three months or so, is that? Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, there was a young man testify earlier today, uh, Tyler. Uh, were you here in the room when Tyler testified? I was not. Okay. Tyler was sitting downstairs with uh, three other individuals who uh, one could describe as uh, uh, down and out or people who uh, were not employed by the company or by anyone. And I went down to talk to Tyler. And I said hello to the other people there. I've known Tyler for many years. And Tyler said he was hired uh, to hold seats for, uh, I guess, you folks. Did, did, did you folks hire these people to hold seats for you? Mr. Hooser, Syngenta has not paid anyone to do that. Okay. Do you know who did? I don't. Yeah. And, the, and this is. Please be quiet in the audience. And, and, and this is what I just really have to address. If no, wait, let, let me ask a question here for a second, okay. okay? Now, you accuse me of harassing the workers down there. Okay? Because I heard directly from them. Okay, and I'm telling you, ask Tyler, ask someone other than, I'm not sure who you asked. I walked down there and I said hello to a few people, and I harassed nobody, okay? I talked to my friend, my son's friend Tyler, who testified here today. 
Okay. And so the question is, did the, did the chemical companies hire these individuals off the street to hold space for them? They did not hire, well, you know, I'm, I can't answer that, Mr. Hooser. Okay. And this thank is, you very much. But this thank is you. the dramatics, exactly what I'm talking about. I really do want to be part of this process to reach some kind of great solution. Okay. Well, I suggest but you don't call me out in a public meeting and expect me not to come back and clarify things. I'm just, if you want to respect, if you fair, want to ask respect fair. for the council, then you show the respect, please. Thank you. Thank please. you, Chair. Please. Susan, thank you for your testimony. And I just also want to say respect starts with everybody listening very careful. I heard what you had to say, and yet there's times, even I deal with the mayor, uh, we have a relationship that means there's times we agree to disagree. But sure. let's, uh, let's the record note that your testimony was accepted by us in the spirit it was given. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Bynum. Hi, Susan. Hi, hi, Mr. Biden. Um, yesterday we had a meeting, and when we ended the meeting, I heard there were people outside lining up for today's meeting. I went downstairs and I introduced myself to everybody who was in that line. Thank you. The first four men are men that I know because they're frequently here on the front lawn of the county council. And I greeted them and spoke to them. I was present when Mr. Hooser discussed, you know, this thing you alleged, and I didn't witness anything inappropriate. Uh, I know those four men to be homeless men that are frequently on our county lawn because I engage them. This is my home. I'm here every day. Um, so I just wanted you to be aware of that. I've listened to your testimony very carefully. Uh, because we've known each other for a while and you've done such wonderful work in our community. Um, but I ask you to review your testimonies early in this process when we were not, under our rules, allowed to respond. You asked a lot of open-ended questions. I ask you, as a friend, to review that testimony and you tell me if it's in the spirit, in retrospect, of what you're saying here today. Uh, of the kind of spirit we need. And so, um, you know, this is a difficult situation, but I was present when these things happened. I don't know why those men were there or who paid them or any of that, right? But I know that there was no harassment occurring. There was two council members engaging members of the public who are on both sides of this issue with respect and aloha. That's what we do, and that's what happened there. And I want to give witness to that. Thank you. May I please respond to that? And I will be very respectful. Sure. I, you, you, yes, please. That is my um, decision, your, not yours. That's the chair's call. <laughs> please be brief. Please be brief, but you may respond. Mr. Bynum, Council Member Bynum, thank you for saying that. And I do believe we are friends. Um, the four homeless people that you refer to, I have no idea who those are. And so I won't be able to reflect on that for you. But I will go back indeed and look at my testimony. I have actually looked at all of my testimony leading up to today, which is why my testimony has been of such a different nature. Off the top of my head, I have to say I do stand by it, but with all due respect to you, I will review it. And I'd love to be able to sit down with you and talk to you about what you might have found um, Susan, disagreeable. in today's testimony, you stated that Council Member Hooser harassed people in front of this building. So enough said. And I guess that's a difference of perspective, but I respect what you have to say. But you it say, is a difference of perspective. You stated it as a fact. Okay. okay. Enough said. Susan, thank you for your uh, testimony. Thank you, Chair. The next speaker is Judah Freed.